Hey everybody, Miss Cherillo here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a website and blog using Wix.com. So of course start by going to Wix.com and then click Get Started. You're going to create a website using your school email. So go ahead and type in your school email. All right, you're going to type it in again. And then select a password that you know you are going to remember and not just randomly make up. Go ahead and write it down to the side um, so that you can remember it for sure. Or even save it in your phone. Then you're going to click sign up. We're going to primarily use the website and blog as a way to display your work for this class. It's going to be a way for you to upload assignments for me and the rest of the class to see, and it will be a digital portfolio for you to have. All right, so now that it's loaded, you're going to click Let's Do It. This is going to walk you through a few questions so they can know how to direct your website builder. So it says, who do you want to create a website for? Click myself. Then it's going to ask, have you created a website before? Even if you have, go ahead and say, this is my first time. Next, it's going to ask, what kind of website do you want? You're going to type in student portfolio. This may be empty when you first get here, so you can type in student portfolio and it'll just pop up. Then click next. Now, it's going to ask if you want to have a assistant designer, like an automated designer, help you with the creation of your website, or if you want to do it on your own. I want everybody to go ahead and have the assistant designer help you. So go ahead and click Start Now for the ADI. All right, so now you need to tell it some features. Please go ahead and unclick Chat and select blog. So I only for now want blog clicked. You can add some more features later. Don't worry about this right now. Just click blog and then click next. Now you're going to tell it your name or your business name. So what I want you to write is your first and last name. So I'm going to go ahead and say Lydia Chirillo, but you would put your first and last name and then put design blog. Now click next. You do not want right now to import any images or text, so please click skip. Now you can add a picture of yourself or a logo. It must be school appropriate and represent you in a, you know, either a direct way, like it's an appropriate picture of you, or if you love flowers, you can put a picture of a flower, whatever you want. You can click the plus sign and then select some images from your computer. I'm going to go ahead and click this picture I have saved, which is me and my inflatable dinosaur costume that I used to wear at school all the time. Very sad that I can't wear it and show it for you guys because it is currently in my classroom. All right, so there is going to be my logo for now. Please do not add your address, do not add your phone number, do not add any fax number, and please do not add any social media information. This is going to be only used for school um, assignments, so please don't add any personal information. Now I'll click Next. Okay, now you get to select a theme. It starts by only giving you six options, but later you can select from a lot more. I like this Soho theme. It's the color and the layout is really what you're picking right now, and some uh, general fonts. So I'm gonna click Soho and then click Continue. Now it's asking me if I want to choose colors for my logo, um, and it will actually pull colors from this image and use that as my color palette. I'm gonna click Skip, because I know that I don't want these to be my site colors, but feel free to say yes if you know that you like those colors. So now I get to pick what I want my home page design to look like. It's going to give me three main choices that I pick from. And this is general layout, color, and kind of vibe of my website. So do I want there to be a background color? Do I want there to be all these pictures? Do I want it a little more simple? Really, this is up to you, personal preference, and you can change it at any time. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click this middle one. And I clicked use this design. So now it's loading my features that I've already given it. It's adding my pages because it knows I want a blog. And then it's going to make some final touches. All right, so here we are to our main, um, we're on our main home page designer. So I actually ended up going with a different theme than you just saw. I paused my video and selected a different one, so don't be confused. So right now it has some images that are already included, but let's say I want this front launch page to look a little different. Um, I'm going to click design. And over here on the left hand side, it gives me a way to edit this um, section design. So maybe I like the idea of having my um, header overlaying a background picture. Let's go ahead and do that. So now it says Lydia Chirillo design blog, and then it has this picture. Now that's obviously not my picture. I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a picture I do want. So I'm actually going to upload a picture that I have of the, my classroom at RCA. So I'm going to click Upload Media, Upload from Computer. You guys are allowed to upload your own photo if you would like, um, or you can select from some automatically um, given images like these. I'm totally fine with y'all choosing those or searching for some other interior design or fashion or textile related images. And you can see that the image of me in my dinosaur costume is still in my library of photos, but I'm going to go with this picture of my classroom. So I'm going to click apply. And now it has the picture in the background as well as my header. I'm actually going to change the title by clicking on the words. And then over here on the left, you see that I can change what the words say. I'm actually going to change this to say Mrs. Chirillo's class blog. But what I want you to make yours to say, I want you to do your first and last name and then say design blog. So this is what I want yours to say, your first and last name, then design blog. And your subtitle needs to be either interior design, if you're an interior design student, fashion design, if you're a fashion design student, or textile, oops, science, if you're a textile science student. But again, for me, I'm going to make mine say Mrs. Chirillo's class blog. All right, so now I have edited this um, like main home page section. Now we're still on the home page below this first header picture, and you can see that it gives you a lot of preloaded what are called sections. Um, you can delete any of these that you don't want, and I honestly would suggest you to delete them for now because you can always add them later. So if you hover over a section, it turns slightly blue. And then you can hover over these three dots, scroll down, click delete. Deleting your section, you click delete. I'm going to continue to delete these added sections. So this is a quote. Um, we can add a quote back later if we want. So I'm going to hover over, click delete, delete. I want everybody to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Please don't leave any sections except the last one, which I'll show you what that is here in a minute. All right, so three buttons, delete, delete, okay. All right, so now all it has is my header picture, my heading title, and now it has this three blog post section. I want you to keep this because what this does is it will show me your latest three blog posts. I'll show you how to make a blog post in another video, but for now I want you to keep this section so that when you do create blog posts, I can see them on your main page. At any point, if you decide that you wanted to add another section, you can either press this blue button to add a section beneath this blog header, or you can go up here where it says add and select section to page. And then it will show you all of these different sections you can choose from. If you are a photographer and have lots of 
class related pictures that are school appropriate that you wanted to add, by all means, you could add an image gallery. And that way you just click gallery and you would click one of these ways to display your photos and it would add it to your website. So I just click it, it's adding that feature and then you'd be able to click this feature and change the media by clicking organize media. Now for now, I'm just gonna delete that because you don't need it, but that's how you can add a section later. So right now, this is all I want you to have on your website. I want you to have um, a picture of yourself or another image that represents you. It should say home and blog. It should say first and last name design blog. And then you need a heading picture that you either pull from the internet that's related to interior design, fashion, or textiles, or maybe you just choose an image that's already loaded on the website designer. And then please leave this blog section that shows the three most recent blog posts. Now, what you're gonna do is come to the upper right if you're finished with all of that, and you're gonna click Publish. Before it publishes, it's gonna ask what you want your website um, actual URL to be. So this is like what people type in online to get to your website. It's gonna automatically generate this first portion that you can't change. What I want you to put right here is your first and last name, design, blog. It looks like that's too long, so if all you can put is your last name, then delete your first name and put your last name, design, blog. So again, what you can put here is either your first and last name, if it's not too long. If it is too long, please just put your last name, design, blog. You can change this later, but for now, this is what I want everyone's to be. So for me, it's Chirillo Design Blog. Again, everything on your website, once you click publish, is available to the entire internet, to anyone online. So make sure you do not include any personal content, any personal information, or any photos or material that you would not want me or anyone else to see. Once you've put your domain name, you're gonna click Publish and Continue. Please remember, we are always going to be using the free version of this site. Do not ever pay for any features ever. You should never have to give it credit card information or any personal information. So now your website is live and you can click View Site to see what it looks like to that outer world. You can see exactly what your address is to your website up here. And then you can scroll around and see what your website looks to everyone else. For now, these blogs that are posted in the blog um, quick link, those are just generic preloaded um, Wix examples of blogs. But soon enough, these will be blog posts that you make yourself. Congratulations, everyone. You have officially made your website. Good job. Once you do this, you're going to get a 100 for this assignment. Congratulations. Can't wait to see what amazing content you post.